another thing, you don't have to buy new stuff to go make noises and make cool sort of sound experiments. I'll bet most of you guys have probably had a glass of coke in the point of your lives. And you can use these to make noise. Uh, yeah, have you made noise with these? How do you know these? Yeah. Well, over the top. Oh, oh fantastic. I, that's cool. Or maybe I noticed some people were holding their ears. And I have a little bottle here and a big bottle here. Which one is going to make the higher sound? The little one? That was our that was our theory. That's a little strange. And tell me your name. Genevieve. Yes. The the little bottle and the big bottle. Uh, the big bottle is much bigger, but what does it have less of, Genevieve? That's right, the big bottle has a lot more water and it has less air. There's only a little bit of air in the big one and a lot of air in the, in the little one. And if I drank some more water out of the big one. <laughs> so, it's like Genevieve said, the important thing is not how big the bottle is, but how much air there is in it. Notice that if I wanted to play a tune, I'd have to like blow and then drink. And it would take a long time to play a tune. Shane has an invention here so that I can make the water go up and down while I'm playing. Do any of you guys have this invention at your house? That's right. And let me. A little, uh, yeah. yeah, I'm just making sure that there's enough in there so that you can see the water and you can see this is something I cannot do with the Coke bottle, make the water go up and down. Yeah. You can make your scientific observations yes. right there. Yeah. And then you can use it to cook turkeys on Thanksgiving, but at Halloween you can make And if there are birds in your backyard, you can talk to them. <laughs> and the only thing you have to be careful of is don't squeeze too hard, because then the water's going to go up your nose. <laughs> it's very important in science to be taking precautions, and I know there's, it's not such a bad thing to have water go up your nose, but. Um, but it's not so much fun, and sometimes in science it's, more, it's important to be especially careful if you're working with dangerous chemicals yeah. or machines. Yes? Um, so far, I've only tried blowing over the top, I've never tried like that. That would be a cool thing to try. And remind me your name? Dr 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 Dradell. Dradell. It's our first day here. We're still learning everybody's names. And Dradell? You know, Dradell was asking, what if I what if I breathe in instead of breathing out? Inhale. What if I took it and turned it upside down so that instead of the hole being at the top, the hole was at the bottom? Over. Dradell. <laughs> <laughs>